Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, as you can see, we've got the Autel MK808 kit. We're in a BMW 3 Series, but the video I'm going to show you is suitable for all BMWs. Uh, we have a check engine light on the dashboard, as you can see here. So if you are interested in this kit, I'll put a link in the description below this video. Unfortunately, there are fakes, there are clones on the market. Uh, so make sure you follow that link and that will take you to the genuine listing for this product. I'm going to basically show you how to use this to diagnose and reset the check engine light. So we've got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port. Uh, the diagnostic port as you can see is right there, that's the other end of this plug and it comes in the top there. So we'll click on to diagnostics and we need to select uh, the European BMW manufacturer, so European and then we just need to find BMW which is there. And we're going to go through the whole process of showing you how to diagnose this fault. Ultimately this tool works on all systems, there's a lot of service functions as well so it's a, it's a really high-end tool or high-end when it comes to DIY tools and it has, it's packed with a lot of features and a lot of functions. Uh, so it's found our vehicle, it's going to just quickly go through and read the control unit information, shouldn't take too long. Right, um, so we go to diagnosis and go to control unit and um, we just want to diagnose the uh, the engine so it's in the drive section and we go into the uh, engine diesel electronics it could be one of the other so if you get a failure connection connection failure in this one then it's going to be that one so um, it depends on the spec and the, the systems which are installed in your vehicle so we're going to read codes It's giving us two fault codes here. So the first one is 25F500. Second one is 28D600. So we've got intake air temperature, IAT sensor signal, and HFM hot film air mass meter or MAF mass airflow meter. Uh, signal circuit open. So we found a fault with the mass airflow uh, sensor. In fact, we've uh, taken that out. We've put a new one in, but obviously we're still getting the fault codes. We're still getting the check engine light. So the real, real quick way to do this, um, and you do need a diagnostic scan. Well, you need a scanner to actually diagnose the fault in the first place. If you weren't sure what all of this meant, my advice would be to put these fault codes into a Google search engine because that will ultimately give you the information. Chances are, if you've got this fault, somebody else will have had this fault in the past as well. All of this information is openly available on the internet, mainly forums, but put it into Google and it will come back with a lot of searches and it'll tell you exactly what to do with any given fault code. Um, so what we can do here is we can go to uh, escape, put a new fault, put a new math in, so we go to erase codes and then keep an eye on the check engine light when I do this. Are you sure? So I'm going to click yes, check engine light has gone. Codes have been successfully erased. So that is all thanks to the MK808 kit, which really is actually a, an absolutely fantastic package. Uh, it covers all main manufacturers um, from all over the world, and it also does a lot of um, special functions as well. Oh, software is due to expire soon. Um, go to service, and you can see all of the, uh, the different service functions that you've got on this particular kit. Um, but that's, I'll leave that uh, for you to have a look at. Um, but if you are interested, as I say, I'll put the link in the description below. Make sure you follow that link because it's a genuine and official Autel product. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.